visiting with Dr. Cheryl Selman, author of What Women Must Know to Protect Their Daughters Against Breast Cancer. And what I would like to ask you, Dr. Selman, is could you give us a, a little bit of a overview of what this book is all about, please? I'd be delighted. You, you know, this book is really a follow-up from the research that uh, was expressed in Hormone Heresy. And the reason I wrote this book was because as I was traveling around the world, I started to meet more and more women who were diagnosed with breast cancer, but were at the very young age of, you know, 20 something or 30 something, rarely, but even then, even teenagers. So this was a shock to me because, you know, breast cancer is, was, was a disease at one point that only visited women in their 60s and 70s, older women were diagnosed with breast cancer. In the last generation, we've accepted breast cancer to be found in women in their 40s and 50s, but now we are finding more and more younger women. So not only is the incidence of breast cancer increasing in number, but it's also showing up in younger women. And this was a particular concern to me because the younger a woman is when she is diagnosed with breast cancer, the greater the tendency she will have a more aggressive form of cancer and therefore worse prognosis. And this is devastating to young women. I mean, it was never ever imagined that a young woman would be dealing with this horrible disease. It's enough that you know older women have it, but to see these young women. So uh, I, I was aware of the fact, I became aware of the fact that this is going on. No one was really talking about it at the time. But presently, we now know that one out of every 250 some women are being diagnosed with breast cancer who are under the age of 40. So they're in their 30s and their 20s. And uh, in fact, as I traveled, I met many doctors and oncologists, a range of uh, health practitioners and professionals, and I would always ask the question, are, are you seeing young women in your practice who are being diagnosed with breast cancer? And they all told me with this shock and horror on their face that they were in fact seeing these young women. So if breast cancer is occurring in this population, and I'm afraid we are on the just the beginning of a huge wave where we're going to be seeing more and more young women being diagnosed, we need to raise the alarm not only about the fact that this is in fact occurring, but the question that I really was kind of asking myself and wanting to investigate was if these women are being diagnosed with breast cancer in their 20s and 30s, and we know that breast cancer takes 10, 15, 20, even 30 years to develop, then we have to go back in time to address some of the root cause issues that are driving this trend. And if we can address and look at some of these issues, we can also make some changes that hopefully can avert this course for, for many, many, many women. And uh, it's the information that mothers need to have, grandmothers need to have, as well as helping to educate the younger women themselves to make more informed choices because there are things we can do to avert breast cancer. It is not uh, an inevitability that just strikes us right, uh, willy-nilly. Um, contrary to uh, statements made by the American Cancer Society, the National Cancer Institute, which says breast cancer is simply not a preventable disease, I really disagree with those statements strongly because we know there is much we can do to avert a condition like cancer, particularly the breast, and that we need to start making these changes right now. Dr. Shulman, you say women in their 20s and 30s. How would anyone understand that a woman who is 20 has breast cancer? Uh, they, you don't do mammograms in girls who are 20 years old. Is it normally pretty well progressed by the time it's discovered in a young woman? Well, you know, I actually interviewed five women, actually interviewed four women, uh, one in Australia, uh, uh, others in the United States. One had already died. She was from New Zealand, but her story was very compelling. These women were in their 20s and 30s. All of them had gone to their doctors. They felt a lump, and they went to their doctors, and the doctors go, it's a cyst. It's, it's not something you would ever expect to find in a young woman. And they had to, in many cases, go back several times because they felt the lump getting larger because their doctors didn't even look for breast cancer, didn't think it was possible for them to have breast cancer. And sure enough, 
And no, there is no routine screening with mammograms uh, for these young women. It, mammograms are not recommended for young women because radiation from mammograms can really fuel breast cancer in young women. So generally, they found the lump themselves, and then it was confirmed by their doctors who then took them to further testing and screening to see that it was, the, the, I mean, it was a shock to everybody. Well, I hope we're searching for an answer to how to preclude this. I thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.